All right, guys, how y'all doing? We're out here on an extremely hot September day. We're here to do something that we haven't done in a pretty good, pretty good while. Um, we're gonna do a video. We're gonna do talk about some saddle hunting stuff. We're gonna actually talk about the Tacta saddle, aka the Tacta thong, aka the saddle hunter's g-string, whatever you want to call it. Let's just go ahead and get all the jokes out of the way. Uh, yeah, there's a, uh, you know, I mean, really, a saddle's just a. A big camo diaper and uh this is this is really just just kind of the, the speedo equivalent of that so we'll go ahead and we'll get the chuckles out of the way it does i won't lie when you first get it it does not look like a lot um, but i've sat in it uh john tucker sent me one i guess back uh probably been about a month uh, i've been playing with it so i've had um I've had two or three hog hunts out of it. I've had two or three squirrel hunts out of it. And then I've had a lot of sessions just sitting around in the yard. I've done some observation sits on public land. So I've logged a pretty fair amount of hours in it. And uh, I wanted to really give it a good, you know, good honest sit uh, before I did a review. I'm not a big believer in doing, uh, you know, unboxing video, reviewing a product as soon as you get it out the gate. So I wanted to really put some time in it. Um, overall takeaways or let me let me put it this way so we started i started the thread back on i think august 6th um asking what kind of questions people want to know about the tactic saddle um it went on for about eight pages got off on some goose chases um but basically the questions came down to is it really that comfortable or maybe the number one question was does it ride up your butt and give you a wedgie does it does it ride like a thong no it does not ride like a thong unless you're into that sort of thing and you want it to ride up so very comfortable the thong that you're looking at is actually your leg loops okay and since that bottom strap moves up and down since you can adjust it it has to you can't anchor your leg straps to that usually that's the bottom strap what what John calls the rump strap on a kestrel or a kite or a mantis or any other saddle soft saddle trophy line that is fixed you cannot move it so in order to anchor your leg loops to something, instead of being able to loop it, this would be the bottom of the saddle. They're just coming up to the top. So you can completely unhook them, loosen them all the way, get that out of the way. Somebody said it looked like ass floss. Um, it, it, it's just not an issue. So the second question, comfort-wise, boils down to how is it when you're sitting on that piece of two-inch webbing with nothing in between it? my completely honest answer i do not find it to be as comfortable as a kite i do not find it to be as comfortable as my kestrel um i got a size two kite recently i've spent some hours on it i think that's a very comfortable saddle um but what john says talking to him uh he says that mainly that bottom piece of two inch webbing that's on all the saddles out there that's what's carrying most of your weight i think that's true to an extent your mesh or your cordura or whatever it is that's going to stretch most of your weight if i'm sitting all day in a saddle it does end up on a piece of two inch webbing anyway that's what gets uncomfortable the nice thing about the tax saddle is you can move it move it high move it low and then you've also got weight on that top saddle or that top strap that goes around your waist so we're going to get in the tree real quick and i'm going to just show you what it looks like y'all are going to get to watch what little bit of fat I have on me bulge out all around this thing. There's no way to make this look flattering. But hey, if we were in it to look cool, we definitely wouldn't be wearing camo diapers. So let's put it on the tree. We'll talk about it some more. Okay, so we're wearing the tack to saddle. Um, we've got it on just like we would if we were gonna walk into the woods hunting with it. I'll say this, um, the way the rump strap, I don't know if you can see, the way it stays up around that belt loop, um, and as light as this thing is, this walks in phenomenally well. If you do a lot of walking, I think this is worth keeping in your pool options if you're shopping for a saddle. Um, the lineman's loops are pretty far forward. Um, they ride in front of my hips, whereas the kestrel or the kite that I have, they kind of ride out to the sides. Um, they also run up and down instead of being horizontal loops. Um, I actually like that. The more I play with it, I like it. I especially like them being a little bit more forward, but not too much. They're just easier to get to. Um, I like to keep my lineman's belt daisy chained across the rear. So we'll simulate. I've already got a platform here on the tree. I got my tether already hooked up. Um, it's real easy to hook into. Um, I really like to climb in it. Uh, there's nothing dangling. There's nothing 
there's just nothing in the way, nothing flopping around. It's kind of like a rock climbing harness if you've ever climbed in that. Um, just there's nothing to impede you. Walking and climbing, I like it. That's really, to me, probably one of the strong suits. Um, I'm going to get hooked up. Now, I did, I replaced the stock bridge that came with it. I wasn't crazy um, about the bridge. Just really, I'm, if y'all have watched my video on my one-piece tether bridge combo, I'm such a big fan of that. Um, I'm just not used to it. The bridge that he had was fine. It was functional. Uh, the knots were tied. They had a short tail end to them, but they were stitched. Um, I think that would probably be fine. I don't, I don't see any major safety issues. The stitching on the saddle, everything looks good uh, for your lineman's belt, your bridge loops, and all that. It's kind of like any other saddle, really, in my mind. Um, we're going to go ahead and hook our lineman's belt and daisy chain it. And I do feel, I had several conversations with John, and he says that he spent a lot of time on one hanging from a ring of steps. Um, but he did buy Predator Platform last year. He said that he is a platform fan. Personally, I feel like uh, I feel like this is better used with a platform. I have sat on it with a ring of steps. I did not find it to be as comfortable with a ring of steps because you're putting more of the weight on the saddle um, in order to keep the pressure off your feet. So I am using this with a platform just because I feel like if you're going to use it, I feel like you're doing yourself a favor. But we're going to move the rump strap down. We're going to keep the waist strap around your belt. Um, and that's about it. You've also got adjusters on the side that function very similarly to the way the Arrow Hunter adjusters work, um, which I like. So not only can you move that rump strap, you can move it further up. You can move it down under your legs, which seems to be where I keep it most of the time. But you can also pull up. And you can put more pressure on that bottom strap or you can let off on it and you can put more pressure around the waist strap um, I will say I've never really had an issue with a saddle riding up um, this doesn't ride up even with these slick these are like ripstop poly pants they're pretty slick finished um, these don't really it doesn't really ride up once you get it where you want it it tends to stay there um, if you're leaning like this on a platform, if this is how you spend most of your time, I think this is about as comfortable as anything. If you prefer more of a seated position, it's definitely doable. I think you'll find, or I found, I'll put it this way, I don't want to put words into people's mouths. Um, I found, making some three and four hour sits, I found that I moved more. I had to adjust that strap more frequently. Um, if I was sitting it. I know John mentioned that instead of sitting with his knees to the tree, which is what I usually do with knee pads, um, he mentions that he kind of sits side saddle. Um, I can't really do that for Moringa steps. just hasn't worked for me, but I'll say on a platform, um, like what I'm doing right now, this is actually fairly comfortable. Um, and you don't need to have knee pads, and then you can just swing to where you need to be. Um, it works well with a short bridge. I can say that I haven't experienced any hip pinch in the time that I've spent with it, which is cool. Um, if you're somebody that suffers from hip, hip pinch, that's something that you might want to just kind of take into consideration. Just the way this is, there's no fabric right there. The waist strap kind of sits higher. That rump strap sits lower. There's nothing there to give you any hip pinch, really, once you get this saddle set up, which is kind of cool. Um, you can run a shorter bridge with it, too. Um, he comes with some pretty short bridges on his saddle. We had some conversations about that. He said that due to the design of it, he felt like you could get away with a shorter bridge. And a shorter bridge is nice because you can have a lower hookup. Um, you know, when you, that's something else I like about my buckle is instead of having that big long persic knot, you can see I can put that buckle all the way up to the tree, all right? And then with a short bridge, what it lets you do is it lets you move your tether low. The lower your tether is, the easier it is to get over your bridge. If you get your tether way up high, you can't get over your bridge well. So you can see I can lower this one much lower than I would ever actually hunt with it, down chest high. And with the buckle, I can cinch all the way up. Still be, you know, pretty comfortable lean, and I still got mobility behind me. That way, I can come up and over my bridge very easily and shoot that way. 
So I do like that, and I feel like I could use, I use a fairly short bridge. Mine is like, I think 20 inches, plus the length of the carabiners, which is about two inches, so a 24 inch bridge. Uh, standard to the short side of standard. Um, but it's, you know, that's, that's just something to keep in mind. His bridges do come short. You can, you know, message him and he'll do one whatever length you want, is my understanding. Um, so he's, you know, he'll customize them to you for a little bit. I can't comment much on the molly. Uh, honestly, I abhor molly webbing. Um, wish it would go away. Don't like using molly attachments on my saddle. Uh, the only pouches I've ever found that I really liked were the trophy line pouches because they were quiet um, and they don't really have to, they're not super molly compatible, you can make it work. Um, that and uh, Dano the Mano over at Eastern Woods Outdoors, he sent me a little fleece pouch um, which I've been playing with and I think I'm starting to like it. It's a little bit lighter, real quiet. Um, but yeah, sorry, can't really tell you how the molly works because I haven't had a chance to use it. It looks fine. Um, looks like it's going to be a little tight, kind of like the early generation Kestrel Molly was. Um, I think part of the reason that they have problems with Molly is because um, instead of using a one inch flat webbing, it seems like everybody's using a tubular. And I just think that tubular messes you up for some reason. It seems like people to try to make them loose enough, then they make them so loose that they won't work with Molly stuff. If they sew it like regular Molly and they use the same spacing and they keep the webbing tight, it doesn't give enough to put molly adapters. Anyway, goose chase. Um, basic takeaway, if you're hunting from a platform, to me, like if I was going to run a predator platform, or right now I'm standing on this little tree suit kind of platform, um, I think it's fine. Really, if I used a platform, if, if I used a platform, um, I would be very tempted to run this as my main saddle. Because I think it's just as comfortable, and it's the lightest most compact, out of the way system that wears in real easy. Um, climbs real easy, packs real easy, not a lot to it, super adjustable. Um, I'm probably not going to stick with it just because I do prefer to have a ring of steps so I can, you know, have full movement, full 360 around the tree a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, that's a uh, that's just a basic basic rundown, rambling as always. We'll probably keep hunting out of it. Um, I was in it actually just this morning, squirrel hunting. I really like it for that application. Probably not what he's selling it for. Um, but I like it for squirrel hunting just because you do a lot of walking, but sometimes you want to set up camp on a particular feed tree or den tree or something, and it's real easy. You just, you're like, man, I wish I could sit somewhere. Oh, wait a second, I'm wearing my saddle. Oh, you're tapping on the tree, and you got you a nice comfort seat. Um, but yeah, I could do this. Like I said, we'll, uh, as far as the, the leg loops go, those are G-hooks. You can see all that information on his website. You can see how it's set up. But let's see if I can unhook them. So that is your, your G-string strap, quote unquote. So you can see you can loosen that all the way. All your weight is staying on that. So, unless you just like to run your leg straps super, super tight, you're never gonna get any issue with binding from the G-string strap. Um, and it's it's really, it's, it's gonna bind in a place other than up your butt it's going to cause for, for most of the uh, XY crew out there, it's going to cause some binding in another place before it really starts, before you start feeling on your butt. I don't feel it at all. Um, so that's, that's it. That's the number one complaint that I've seen, uh, or the number one, I guess, doubt that I've seen that people have in their mind is the G-string strap. That's not an issue. That is all that I know about it. Um, if you got questions about it, leave a comment. Hit me up on the forum. Uh, John has been very responsive every time I've reached out to him as well. I'm sure he'd be happy to field any questions that you have. I'm going to go get inside because it is so hot that chickens are laying fried eggs right now. Uh, the water level in my river behind my house is low, not because of the tide, but just because the water is boiling off. And Yeah, it's hot. I'm going to go inside, drink a beer. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you later.